The age of the Great Sphinx of Egypt remains a contentious issue. The consensus among Egyptologists is that the Sphinx is 4,500 years old and was built to honour Pharaoh Khafre, while the consensus among geologists is that it must be at least twice as old as this. The evidence supporting the Egyptological interpretation is largely if not entirely circumstantial. It is argued that because the Sphinx is located within Pharaoh Khafre's funerary complex, which is believed to be 4,500 years old, that the Sphinx must therefore also be of that age. While the evidence supporting the geological interpretation is arguably far stronger, as it is based on the unmistakable signs of water erosion on the Sphinx and its surrounding enclosure. This was first identified in the 1950s by René Schwaller de Lubix and later confirmed in 1991 by John Anthony West and Robert Schock. Given that the Giza Plateau has experienced an average rainfall of around 1 inch per year for the last 5,000 years, Schock and West concluded that the Sphinx had to be at least 9,000 years old to have undergone the degree of weathering that it has. Critics have attempted to suggest that haloclasty or salt crystallization could account for the observed weathering, but this is highly unlikely as one we can see clear vertical channels in the limestone, which is indicative of water erosion and does not occur in haloclasty, and two, if haloclasty is the cause, we should expect to see similar patterns of erosion on other supposedly contemporaneous structures, such as the Valley Temple, which we do not. Others, such as Egypt's former Minister of Antiquities, Zahi Hawass, have argued that it is not possible that the Sphinx could be more than 9,000 years old, as no single artefact, no single inscription or pottery or anything has been found until now in any place to predate the Egyptian civilization more than 5,000 years ago. Not only is this argument logically fallacious, as absence of evidence does not entail evidence of absence, but it is also factually inaccurate. Structures such as Gobekli Tepe in southeast Turkey demonstrate that there were indeed civilizations capable of megalithic construction in existence at least 12,000 years ago. Furthermore, the dating of many of the artefacts and megaliths found at Giza is based on highly questionable evidence, and consequently we cannot say for certain that they do not predate Egyptian civilization. Further evidence supporting the geological dating of the Sphinx comes when we look to the field of astronomy. Aside from being cardinally orientated with the three pyramids almost perfectly aligned to true north and the Sphinx aligned due east, these megalithic structures also happen to form a very curious and precise astronomical alignment at a very curious and precise point in time. In 10,500 BC, during the vernal or spring equinox, the three pyramids align with the belt stars of the Orion constellation, the Nile River aligns with the Milky Way, and the Leonine figure of the Sphinx faces her cosmic counterpart of the constellation of Leo. Not only does this alignment corroborate the geological dating of the Sphinx, but it may also solve the great mystery of why the Sphinx has the form of a lion, or as certain hieroglyphs suggest, a lioness. Interestingly, this cosmic alignment is contingent upon a feature of celestial mechanics known as precession, which operates roughly on a 26,000 year cycle. Therefore, although the last alignment took place in 10,500 BC, it is possible that the Sphinx might even date back to the previous alignment in 36,000 BC. Given that the Sphinx would no doubt have been maintained by those responsible for its construction, the 9,000 plus years of weathering we find today may merely indicate the duration of time the Sphinx has been neglected, not the time of its construction. Therefore, the possibility that the Sphinx may not be 4,500 years old as many Egyptologists claim, but actually more than 9,000 years old and possibly even 36,000 years old, is an idea that requires further investigation. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.